Okay, we're on our way up here to make a repair. This is September 10th, and I got a pool potter on the other side of the tunnel. Unbelievable. It was only 55, five, 55 degrees yesterday or last night. That's all, all the lower it got, and I got a three inch pull apart up here. My, my, my. Usually you wait, get cold weather, get pull apart. But got some uh, help back there coming up. Give me a help. Got my fire snake on the back of the truck. And you guys have been here before. Ultra's in here vacuuming down at the harbor. Fortunately, they brought a train this morning and um, they track inspection here this morning and found that. So I had to run back there to Milepo State and get my fire snake. I usually don't carry fire snake uh, in September. I've had pull parts in October. Number one in September. Here, we're gonna be on the other end of the tunnel here. Right here on the other end of the tunnel on this uh, south rail, I had one last year, it was just a wild. It was a four inch pull apart, it was right here on this joint. And believe it or not, it took 19 cans of fire snake to get that baby back together. And I scared to death because there was coal in the tunnel and lighting that on fire. So we're gonna run over to pull apart right now. Okay, I gotta get to work. Spread this fire snake out, get it split, see what happens. What's going on here with my flare? Quit on me, doggone it. Pretty neat. It's a big gap. It moves some. It? Yeah, it's come in some already. We just got this snake going, so. Mm -hmm. Loosen up the anchors. That's how I light it. Is there gel filled packs nice little handy dandy holder there from Interstate 79 up there. It's our underpass 2 tunnel. And that big over there, that's a water line coming from the mine, treated mine water, sending it to the river. So we'll let the heat do its thing. Got two railings on fire here. <laughs> Track on fire. Pretty neat. I don't know what the, those are gel filled packs. I don't know what the gel is. That'll burn for about 20 minutes. One can will do about 40 feet. Well, okay, we got our pull apart fixed here. It was a struggle. I had to break, loosen the bolts up on this joint. I got a big gap in here too. So we loosen these bolts up. We'll run the fire snake up through here. We used uh, six cans of fire snake. Put the snake on, see the remnants of uh, the uh, gel packs. That rail's still hot. It's about, uh, 20 minutes after we got the rail put together, got this joint back together, that was a struggle. That was a struggle. Our drift pins, we had to 
finally got one one drift pin one thin drift pin it was about the size of my finger got it started because then we had to loosen these bolts up drive the this joint bar over here that way this joint bar that way and got that one pin through there i'll uh, get those drift pins out here and show you here in a minute okay so we got it together and uh good job all told probably took us uh 45 minutes of work you can see how the rail guy is like there's still heat coming off of that so this is this was today's project doing my track inspection found this not what you want to find but thank goodness we got it back together look how blue that rail is isn't that pretty neat that'll leave figure uh, i can't spend a lot of time doing this because they're wanting to run a train down there so i got to get get in here and clear it up all righty and show you the after effects it's really a nice day out here it's like 70 70 some degrees we had to loosen the bolts here too to try to get that rail to move more all righty i'll be back like i said i gotta get i gotta get here and get in the truck and get out of the way so i'll get off the trail rail up there so he can run the train and then i'll show you a few more things drift pin the fire snake can stuff like that okay we're off the rail up here at the loadout train's leaving the harbor and getting headed up this way um fire snake rail heater pull apart repair system e4 uh, easy to ignite for each per container uh, i have one of those five showed that and i told you i didn't know uh also there's uh four they're about 10 foot long gel filled packs told you i didn't know what was in them so this is what's in them. i'm going to read that to you you probably can't see it real well 98.24 percent of the mixture consists of components of unknown acute inhalation toxicity contains isopropyl pro, pro, propanol isopropanol or denatured ethanol carbon black hydro sulfurized middle distillants and it's very very what you don't do, you try to avoid at all costs, is breathing the fumes off of this while it's burning. It's uh, pretty rough stuff. And uh, even the, the empty can here has got a lot of fumes coming off of it. And actually, it's pretty pungent. i got to get away from it here. So, that's uh, got a smell. Wow. Okay. All righty. Well, I told you we... Uh, I'll show you here what uh, my drift pins this is the one that I used to get it started and then I was able to use this longer one to actually drive it home and you see how this is shaped I'm gonna show you why here in a minute uh, okay we'll walk over here and while I'm walking over here I know you guys would have loved to have me set up a tripod that would have been totally awesome to watch and but let me say this we are very very fortunate that i am able to make these videos very fortunate you know a lot of railroads would not allow it some don't even allow picture taking so but my my uh privileges come with some stipulations and i'm not going to do anything to abuse those stipulations and lose what we do have and one of the stipulations, which I never told you before, is I'm not allowed to video any of the employees' faces. And obviously, if I'd done that with a tripod, everybody else down there would have got in it. And I'm not I'm just not going to abuse the privilege that I have. Be thankful we get the videos we do get. Okay. Uh, so this is a joint bar. I know you railroaders all seen these. A lot of guys have not seen them up close. We have a circle an oval hole and we use oval neck button head button head oval neck track bolts that go in there and then a circle another oval circle oval and on the opposite side we would have an oval on here and a circle on here oval here etc so i was able to get that real small drift pin just started just caught 
the edge of this on the other side. And once I got it started, then I was able to draw it together enough so that I could get that bigger drift pin to pull those. And I pulled that rail by hitting that drift pin probably that far. <laughs> of course, I had heat on it, but it, uh, the heat only brought it in about halfway. And it's lucky we got that. So it's all fixed up, uh, new bolts in it, and we're back running again. So again, here's the small drift pin that I used, and uh, I it did have rubber on it. The rubber fell off when I hit it, and I didn't pick it up. So it's still down in a track. I'll get it some other time. And see the rubber up here, and that helps, you know, if a, a, a sliver comes off of that edge that keeps it from flying out and you got to keep constantly keep putting these things back up on here too but uh, so this is I was able to get this bent one started and drive it home and that's worked out fairly well this is what they look like fairly new they're straight when they come that's a uh, pull I'll tell you what, these drift pins and that fire snake have saved the day on the railroad out here many, many times. This is an old drift pin that we had, used to have before we got those other kind. Uh, this is many, many, 15 some years ago we used these. And uh, you know, I've told you before that some of our railroad tools have some rather colorful names. Uh, we always called this a donkey dick. And I'm sure there's other railroads, other railroaders that call it various other names too. And also, what we did we used this wedge, that joint on the uh, west end. Uh, we drove this wedge down here, trying to in that gap between the rails, trying to push the rail out too, and that helped. All right, uh, pull apart was at about mile post 5.9 on the south rail. So. But that's railroading, and uh, I'm going to head back to the harbor. My shift's about over for the day, and it'll take me about 45 minutes to 50 minutes to drive back. Thank you guys very much for watching. And, uh, hey, we bring the railroad to you. I hope you liked this video today, and this is your first time viewer. I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and if you do subscribe please hit the notification bell thank you very much have a really good day